All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. Today, we are going to be filming how to paint your rifle, your shotgun, or any weapon that you decide you want to paint. Uh, this is just going to be kind of a guide of everything you're going to need and uh, a little bit of the reasons why. So, the weapon we're going to be painting today is this Daniel Defense V7. Okay, it has only been painted with some green stripes on it before. It came as kind of an FDE brown color. Um, before we continue, we'll talk about the four rules of firearm safety. Treat every weapon as if it's loaded. Keep your fingers straight off the trigger until you're ready to engage. Always be aware of your, uh, your target and the surroundings and treat all weapons as if they're loaded. Uh, this is the actual bolt carrier group for the weapon. It is not in the weapon, thus rendering this weapon system uh, inert or ineffective. With that being said, alcohol and guns don't mix, but this seeing as how this is no longer a gun, you're going to need a lot of alcohol while painting your weapon. Not too much, of course. But you're going to need a little bit because uh, most of our guns are, what, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 dollar builds? And, uh, yeah, so the drink for today's video will be Yingling. Okay, guys? Um, and there are no uh, actual functioning weapons here. All right. Go ahead and uh, take a, a chug of your beer, your coffee, or whatever you got going on. Okay. So, uh, the first step to painting your weapon was to clear it or remove the bolt carrier group, as I've done. Second step is to go ahead and secure your coffee or your beer. Okay. Um, third step is going to be to paint or tape over wherever you don't want paint, okay? Your optic, your trigger, your serial number, okay? Make sure you don't paint over your serial number, your 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 sights, all right? Anything you don't want, your ejection port cover, anything you don't want paint to get in, okay? Just use standard painter's tape for that. Uh, step number four, if you're gonna be in a garage because it's raining outside and you're a fake gun tuber, make sure you have a, a way to ventilate. So I'm gonna ventilate this garage as we go. Okay. You're going to need a glove for later on um, for when we're adding stuff. And the type of paint we're going to use is going to be Rust-Oleum Ultra Flat Paint. Okay, I have this kind of weird green my wife picked up. Okay, Shout out to uh, Trench Wife for picking all this up. All right, brown, a little bit of a dark green, and a tan. Okay, so for this gun, we are going to turn it into a tan base with... Uh, brown and green stripes okay guys so general rule of thumb when painting is less is more and with that being said less is more because you can always freaking add a little bit more paint but you don't want to overdo it uh you want to be about 12 to 15 inches away from the weapon and you just want to do kind of streaks you don't want to overdo it guys okay so we're going to go ahead and get our beers out of the way uh if you guys enjoy this content we do have discord that is live and we do have a patreon that is live all right guys cheers before we get started i am the bob ross that your mom said that you had at home okay so we're going to start off with our tan here go and give give it up give it some shakes all right say goodbye to the Daniel Defense as it was before. We'll move this chair out of the way because I will inevitably accidentally paint it and my wife will kill me. Okay, so here we go. We're going to do our base coat now. Our base coat, uh, pretty simple. All right. Here we go. Let the brain damage begin as I paint indoors without ventilation. I'm gonna cut here in a little bit and let all this freaking air out. See how I'm doing less is more, guys. Okay. Less is more. Just kind of working my way up the weapon. Not really worrying about. It's not an it's not an art project, guys. It's not a perfect paint project. You're just working your way up the weapon, giving your rifle a little bit of character, or your shotgun, or your handgun, whatever you're painting. You're just going to work your way back down.
All right. Tan rifle. Okay, guys. Typically, you're going to wait around 15 minutes per side. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna paint both sides with the base coat, okay? So when next time you guys come back, this whole carbine will be completely tan, and then we'll talk about how to style it, guys. All right? I'll see y'all in a second. Chris Cudet, can you show us how to paint our rifles? I'm trying. I'm freaking trying. That right, will be the base coat tan for the other side. Might need to put my damn pro mask on out here. I'm losing brain cells. I'm already a freaking 11 Bravo. Don't got many brain cells to lose. Remember guys, less is more. Okay, don't overdo it. It's kind of 10 to 15 inches. Give your rifle some freaking character. I did leave the magazine in to help with um, getting anything into that magazine well and I'll have one that perfectly matches the gun if that's your thing I, I personally really don't care but then you'll have one that matches the the paint job if you're that weirdo out there worrying about stuff like that all right looking good now the entire weapon is tan all right, guys, we're going to give it uh, 20 minutes and let this entire base coat freaking dry. We'll see you all in a second. All right, guys, we're back. So now we're going to start doing our stripes. So all you're going to need is just a piece of paper, and you're going to tear it right down the middle, okay? We're going to start off with our green, and you're just going to position it, okay? So you're just going to tear it at whatever pattern you want. You're just going to position either wide or small, however, however you want the stripes to end up. And don't overthink it guys because this is at the end of the day it's just a tool oh also i guess before i get started i should do what i was talking about doing and put on my glove okay go and put on your glove that way you don't paint over whatever okay this is a right-handed glove i'm going to use my left hand for it so a little weird but here we go okay so you got it positioned how you want Okay, you're just gonna kinda hold it in place. All you're gonna do boom, and then you're just gonna move down the line, just like that. Positioning it however you want. However you want your stuff to look. Make sure that your stuff doesn't start to drip everywhere and ruin your freaking somewhat professional paint job here, right? So, now that we got our green on there, we're gonna switch over to our brown. Make sure we're not 
dripping everywhere. Alright. Same thing. Shake it up. Less and more. And guys, don't overthink it. It's at the end of the day, it's a tool, right? It's a weapon. So it's gonna get messed up. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that it you give it some personality. It's not like every other freaking weapon out there. I don't know about y'all, but I hate the way the Dano Defense grip looks out of the box. We are starting to smear a little bit here. So this side we are gonna do the other let's see we got a brown here we are gonna do the other green to see what this green looks like okay and then i'm gonna decide later which green i want to stick with because i think that other green we just did turned out a little light um for my liking so we're gonna try this darker green here i did get a new target uh to use and let's see how it turns out here Oh yeah, I like the darker green better, I can tell you that already. Yeah, we're gonna end up redoing the other side probably for the darker green. Now guys, you can use netting if you don't want to use tiger stripe uh, pattern. You can do like netting and stuff. I've done that on other builds. I think y'all have probably seen that on my 1301 uh, build. Okay. Put the green on there. And some of y'all are going to be more meticulous than I am. You can probably see that I'm just kind of not yeah i guess i am just kind of rushing through you know i'm not the biggest you know aesthetic guy i just want it to not be black at the end of the day that way i don't get smoked for having a black rifle in the wood line all 
Again, you want to use ultra flat paint. Yeah, I like the darker green better, guys. You want to show y'all what we're working with here? I like that a lot better. Then I'm just gonna let it dry. Uh, typically, you want to wait at least 48 hours. Okay, let it dry. All right, guys. If you liked today's video, hit the like, subscribe button. We do have the Discord that's live, and we do have the Patreon that's live. That's the only way that we get any funding for the channel. This is kind of how the rifle ended up. Okay, still letting it dry. I am going to redo the other side with the darker green, because I think the darker green is cooler, more of a vibe. But yeah, guys, if you like the content, let me know, what, uh, like and subscribe, and let me know what y'all want to see next. Uh, this has been a how-to paint your freaking carbine or shotgun video. Guys, don't leave them stock. Don't leave them black. Give them some personality. Get out there and actually paint your guns with some ultra flat. Just follow this guide, and hopefully it'll convince some of y'all to actually uh, personalize your gun a little bit. Just remember, it is a tool, so it's going to get used, so it's not a big deal. All right, guys. Until next time, Trench Grenade, signing out. Cheers.